read some more of our story about um, Pocahontas, the real story of Pocahontas. And we want to review kind of what we went over yesterday before we pick up where we left off, right? So we know that the Native Americans, we can kind of blow this up, saw some ships coming. And Pocahontas was excited, but her dad was not so excited, right? Chief Paul Hatton. Okay, and they sent some scouts, which are just people to go find things out. And some of the men stayed back in the trees, but you can see Pocahontas here talking to John Smith. So um, they went to meet and they were surprised by all the hair on their faces. You remember that part? And then right here is Pocahontas. Um, and she would go and take corn to the settlers and teach them how to grow corn and stuff like that. She liked them and maybe some of the other um, Indians, Native Americans did not, right? Let's pick up where we left off yesterday. Pocahontas, written by Karen Jenner. Today, as I read our story, pay attention to the details about how John Smith taught Pocahontas. Paul Hatton's warriors took Captain Smith as a prisoner. Let him go, father, Pocahontas pleaded. No, said Paul Hatton. We must show the strangers that there are a great many of us. Then they will not fight us. Pocahontas' dad, Paul Hatton, came up with a really clever plan, didn't he? He's not going to trust the English, and he's not going to attack. But let's see what he does decide to do. The warriors took Smith to see many Indian villages. The Indians treated him as a guest, but they would not let him go free. What do you think of Chief Paul Hatton's plan? You think it was a good one? Well, they're not going to hurt him, but they're not going to let him go either. They're kind of keeping him like a hostage that they're treating really well. One day, Paul Hatton held a feast in his own village. Pocahontas watched as the warrior arrived with Captain Smith. Paul Hatton gave a signal. Suddenly, the warrior swung their clubs over Smith's head. Pocahontas raced forward. Stop, she shouted. Don't kill him. Paul Hatton ordered the warriors to put down their clubs. You're lucky, he told Smith. My daughter has saved your life. So, let's think about what happened. They took John Smith, they treated him really nice, but then they grabbed him. And what happened? Pocahontas saved him, didn't she? Did Paul Hatton change his mind? He did. We know because he said, my daughter has saved your life. That means he really was going to kill John Smith and Pocahontas changed his mind. Pocahontas and John Smith became friends. Smith taught Pocahontas to speak English. She taught him some Indian words. Pocahontas asked her father to help the settlers. They were not used to the harsh winter. Why do you think that John Smith taught Pocahontas to speak English? Well, it probably helped her to be able to communicate between both groups, right? So if she could speak the Indian language or the Native American language and also English, she could help um, talk between both groups, right? And maybe help keep the peace a little bit. Chief Paul Hatton gave them food from the autumn harvest. The settlers were grateful. For a while, the Indians and the settlers lived in peace. Now, how do we know that this peace is not going to last? The book says, for a while, the Indians and settlers lived in peace. That means that it didn't last forever. Let's see if you can make a prediction. Remember, that's just a guess based on what we already know. What do you think is going to happen to end the peace? Let's find out. One day, another ship arrived, bringing more English settlers. The new settlers took more land. This made Paul Hatton angry. Pocahontas and Captain Smith tried to keep the peace, but the Indians and the settlers did not like each other. Why did Paul Hatton get so mad? More settlers came, and what did they do? It says that they took more land, and that was the Native Americans' land, and that made Paul Hatton really angry. 
All right, I want you to help me summarize what all we read in our part of our story today. We're still not done. We just kind of read the middle part of our story. And when we summarize, we try to tell the most important things. So what will we say? All right, so we left off with Pocahontas helping John Smith yesterday. Today, what happened? The Indians grabbed John Smith, right? They kidnapped him, but they treated him really nicely, didn't they? And then what happened after that? They tried to kill him. Did you say that? Because they did, but who saved his life? Pocahontas and John Smith helped teach her English. And then what happened? They were at peace for a little bit, but more settlers came, which made Paul Hatton angry. And that's where we ended today. And now that we summarized, it's really easy to add some more events to our list. So over here, we have our events from yesterday, right? What happened today? Well, the Native Americans grabbed John Smith. They took John Smith as a prisoner. Then they tried to kill him, but they weren't successful, right? Pocahontas saved his life, changed her daddy's mind. And then there was a peace between the Native Americans and the settlers for a while until what happened? More settlers came and took more land, and that made Paul Hatton angry. All right, so now we know what's happened today. We've got more exciting stuff. We're going to finish out our Pocahontas book tomorrow. I can't wait to hear what happens.